Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to Storytime. It's Miss Morgan here and today our theme is going to be unicorns. So I will go ahead and tell you what our Storytime Take and Make Craft is going to be. It's going to be a headband just like this but yours will be a little bit more fun and unique because you will all get a black and white one and that way you can color it the way you like. And you'll also get an eight pack of crayons here to use all the pretty unicorn colors and then string to fit your headband to your head. So I hope that you will all come and pick those up and they'll be outside. So let's go ahead and start with our welcome song, The More We Get Together. And remember the sign for more is this. Very good. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now the more we read together. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. With big books and small books, with short books and tall books, the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Very good. All right. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, wave your arms. If you're ready for a story, wave your arms. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, wave your arms. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. Very good. So, our first book is called, You Don't Want a Unicorn. Now, I feel like that's silly. Who wouldn't want a unicorn at their house? Unicorns are so much fun. If you could have a unicorn, wouldn't you want one? I think I would. But let's see why he doesn't want a unicorn. Wait, you were going to wish for a unicorn, weren't you? Wishing for a unicorn is a big mistake. Just step away and, uh-oh, uh things are about to get ugly. Trust me, oh, what happened? That's a beautiful unicorn. What could be so bad about that? Sure, having a unicorn seems fun at first. All right, super fun. Fine, it's awesome, okay? But it's not worth it. What you don't know is unicorns shed. Oh, they shed glitter all over your floor. Oh no. And they scratch. And no matter how hard you try, unicorns can't be house trained. Oh. Unicorns poop cupcakes? Would you want to eat a poop cupcake? Oh, you don't want that. Trust me. Don't even get me started on the jumping, the chewing, and the burping. Oh, burping rainbows is kind of cool though, don't you think? Hey, not bad. You probably could pull this off if it wasn't for the biggest top secret nobody knows about a problem without having a unicorn. Unicorns live in groups. And when a unicorn gets lonely, ding, 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 it calls a friend. Poof. No. Right when you're thinking this could be double super fun. Poof. There's another. Poof. And another. Poof. And another. Great. You've unleashed the most destructive force in the universe. A unicorn party. Oh my goodness. Look how they're tearing up the house. Oh my goodness, they've poked holes all in the ceiling. They've pooped cupcakes everywhere. Don't eat them. 
I told you. Why didn't you trust me? Quick, grab your piggy bank. Run! You have to wish them away. <gasps> plip, 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 plip. Put our coins in. Poof, 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 poof. Whew. Yeah, that one needs to go back too. It's for the best. Trust me, everyone say bye to the unicorn. Bye bye. Plip, put my coin in. Poof, goodbye. Aw, cheer up. You could get a goldfish or a nice rock or, oh no. Uh oh. Stop! You don't want one of those either. Trust. Oh no, he wished for a dragon. That has to be worse than a unicorn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. No, no, no. All right, guys. So, our next song is going to be Unicorn, Unicorn. Are we ready? Unicorn, Unicorn, touch your nose. Unicorn, unicorn, touch your toes. Unicorn, unicorn, pat your head. Unicorn, unicorn, go to bed. Unicorn, unicorn, wake up now. Unicorn, unicorn, take a bow. Unicorn, unicorn, touch the ground. Unicorn, unicorn, turn around. Unicorn, unicorn, sit back down. Unicorn, unicorn, don't make a sound. Shh. All right, are we all quiet and ready for our next book? Are you ready? All right. So our last book is Unicorn Thinks He's Pretty Great. So this is about a goat and a unicorn. And I think the poor goat, he kind of thinks that the unicorn is a little better than him. But he doesn't realize that he's just as cool too. So let's see. Oh, there are those cupcakes. I wonder if this unicorn poops cupcakes too. I hope not. Things are a lot different around here since that unicorn moved in. I thought I was pretty cool when I rode my bike to school. Until that show off went flying by. Or the time I made marshmallow squares that almost came out right. He made it rain cupcakes. Well, at least those cupcakes came from the sky, not his butt. Then, at the big talent show, I was dropping my signature dance moves. When he steps up with some serious prancing and wins first prize. Oh, that's not all. It gets much, much worse. Check out this great magic trick that I totally invented. Okay, close your eyes. Keep them closed. Ta-da! While your eyes were closed, I pulled this quarter out from behind your ear. <gasps> nice, right? Well, when I got to school to try it out, he's turning stuff into gold. I can't follow that. Don't be unicorn thinks he's so great. How can anyone be friends with that guy? Look at me, I'm a unicorn. I think I'm so cool. Blah, 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 blah. Well, this goat's not buying it. Great, here he comes. What is that heavenly smell? Goat cheese pizza? I'm a goat. What, goats have cheese? Unicorns don't have cheese. May I try? This cheese is fantastic. It's so creamy and delicious. It's also good smeared on a tin can or sprinkled on some garbage. Mm. Lucky, I can only eat glitter and rainbows. Darn my sensitive stomach. Whoa, what's up with your hooves? Those things are out of control. Oh, these? These bad boys are clothing. It means they're split at the end. They let me stand on steep hills or climb to the tops of mountains. Oh man, I can't stand there or climb those stupid regular hooves. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just look at your fantastic horn. That thing is nuts. Eh, it's just for show. 
All is good for is pointing. I can't play soccer. One headbutt and it's game over. Pain in the neck horn. Not you though. I bet those awesome horns are perfect for soccer. I have an idea. With your magic and my awesomeness, we'd be an unstoppable team. Oh, troll at the bank. Taste my cloven justice. You've been unicorned. Nice, right? Sure. Or we can just go to the park and play. You know something, unicorn? I had a feeling we'd be friends. So this book just shows that even if someone is really different from you, you can still be their friend and you can still play together. So thank you so much for joining me today for our story time about unicorns. And don't forget to come and pick up our take and make to make your own unicorn headband with your own crayons. And see you back next week. Bye.